mental illness is no longer a taboo topic in society. More and more members of the royal family openly admit to having experienced an emotional breakdown. We'll tell you all, amidst a media storm over her husband's photos with Genevieve Casanova, Mary Donaldson, 51, has taken a shot at stepping forward to reappear on a Danish television program openly talking about mental health. Prince Frederick's wife gets candid with doctor and presenter Peter Kvortrup and for the first time says she has also had a bout of depression and illness the royal household believes she has already overcome. The crown princess has worked for many years to combat depression and focus on mental health, reads the text accompanying the promotional video. This unknown revelation got us thinking about all the members of royal houses around the world who suffer or have suffered from mental health issues. From Masako, Empress of Japan, to Prince Harry or Charlene of Monaco and others. One by one, we will look at the reasons that made them suffer from this delicate illness. Masako from Japan, more than two decades of anxiety and depression. Masako's life changed completely when she became engaged to Prince Naruhito. The strict protocol of the imperial household, compounded by the necessity of having an heir, plunged a very young Masako into a well of anxiety and depression. In 2004, the crown first spoke of depression, and then retired from public life. It still has its ups and downs, Naruhito admitted in 2020 statements, and although Masako tries to recognize her institutional commitment to supporting the board her husband has not fully recovered. Naruhito and Masako from Japan Masako acknowledged that she will make every effort to recover so that I can support the emperor and fulfill my role as empress. Charlene of Monaco has been dubbed the sad princess. Although she never publicly confirmed that she suffers from depression, on her wedding day, her earnest and long-suffering gesture traveled around the world, crowning her as the sad princess. Years later, it was her cousin Chris Mayhofer Duker who admitted in an interview that the South African had an abortion before giving birth to twins, a loss that plunged her into deep sadness. She always looked lost, sad and even thought she would never get pregnant again and they wouldn't be able to give the principality an heir, she said. Although she managed to recover from the setback, she was ruined by illness as a result of a bacterial infection in 2021. So on his return to Monaco, he was admitted to a private clinic in Switzerland. Prince Harry has fallen into depression following the tragic death of his father. Harry openly admitted that after his mother's death, his life descended into chaos, anxiety, panic attacks and depression. My way of coping was to hide my head in the sand. Refusing to think about my mother, he admitted. As he became an adult, he put himself in the hands of professionals who helped him through Lady D's tragic death, therapy prepared me to deal with anything, and I, I was in an environment that encouraged me to talk about it. It was like. It was better to keep quiet. Meghan Markle's arrival changed his life forever, it was like someone had hidden all the emotions he had suppressed for so many years and they suddenly came to the forefront. Being with Meghan, I knew that if I didn't go to therapy and fix it, I would lose the woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Magdalena of Sweden fell down a well for love. Princess Madeline of Sweden is another member of the royal family who has fallen victim to deep depression. The daughter of Carlos Gustavo and Silvia was about to marry lawyer Jonas Bergstrom when she found out that he had cheated on her. Her grief was such that she took refuge in New York City to hide from the media attention, a scene in which she met her current husband and father of her three children. Mental health issues have also haunted Norway's royal family. Artist and writer Ari Ben, the former husband of Princess Martha Louise, took his own life at the age of 47 after years of battling depression. Erica Ortiz, sister of Queen Letizia, and Ines Sorigita, sister of Maxima of Holland, also met tragic ends.